Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Has everybody had coffee? Yes. Enough. No, but guess what? There's more outside. Thank you very much, and welcome to Hack for Congress DC. This is the third, not just for technologists, hackathon that we at the Open Gov Foundation have been putting on with the wonderful people at Harvard University's Ash Center. Uh, before we get rolling with our program, I wanted to give a special shout out and thanks to many of the supporting organizations, sponsors, just generally awesome people who've made Cambridge, San Francisco, and now DC happen, and happen free of charge for everybody here. Um, please hold your applause till the end. Um, I, wanna, I wanna give a special thank you to my team. Uh, Laley Suits, who's out there at registration. Uh, Chris Burke and Bill Hunt, right back here. Uh, Aaron Bartnick, who's floating around, uh, and honorary Open Gov Foundation teammates, uh, Danielle Olivido and Tatiana Posada. Uh, and then a special shout out to Harvard University's Ash Center staff, uh, Archon Fung, Tony Sage, Marty Mazzi, uh, Tim, Tim Glenn Burke is around here, he's over there, uh, Melissa Danello, Dan Harsh, and Macy O'Brien, and Maggie McKinley. Um, this whole event started as a dream on a whiteboard uh, with the fine folks at Harvard and us and uh, it's been an incredible ride so far. Um, we are here at Google in DC, and uh, they're hosting us, and last night, uh, Microsoft hosted us last night for a panel. Um, we could not be here without them. So please, a special round of applause for Microsoft, Google, and our event organizers. Thank you very much. And before I begin, is this anybody's first hackathon? All right, so we got some fresh meat, yes. I'm gonna ask, oh, Ted Henderson, what is, for our newbies, a hackathon? Yeah, is this, there we go. <laughs> I'm Ted from Capital Bells. Uh, so to me, a hackathon is a chance for us all to get together and do. And I think a lot of times we're, we're thinking and playing, we have ideas. Well, this is a place where we're all together. We're not just our technologists, but we have some technologists, we have some policymakers, we have some senators, and we've got some great challenges from members of Congress, and they've told us what the problems are, they've offered some potential solutions, and now we have this awesome chance to just get together, break off in some groups, and just see what we can do in a couple days. Amen. Just easy as that. Thank you, pretty simple, thank you, Ted. Uh, now, how does all of that hackathon mentality apply to Congress? Oh, Jessica. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Jessica. I work for Senator Cornyn. Uh, we submitted a couple challenges, actually. I think the, the big break that happens with Congress is that you get a lot of people on the inside who understand the rules and deal with the problems every day, but aren't technical enough to come up with solutions. So I'm really looking forward to see what the collaborations bring. Amen. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Ted. Uh, that's what it's all about. It's all about creating these connections. It's all about capacity building and tackling the challenges. These are real problems that slow down Congress, waste time, waste energy, and prevent the institution from serving us as American citizens efficiently and effectively. Um, but a two-day hackathon or even six days of Hack for Congress are not gonna solve all these problems. Um, that's like Joe Trippi said last night at our panel, to really create the culture of openness, of engagement, and of accountability that we're all seeking here in our different ways, we need a hack for Congress every single day. Uh, and while it would be awesome to take over Google and do this every day, um, we can't. Have no fear. There are people, some of whom are in this room, who are doing this every day. And I think that's one of the larger messages and takeaways that I want everybody in this room to go home with, is creating that 21st century Congress is a job for all of us. Software engineers can't do it by themselves. If they did, Google probably would have nailed it already. Designers can't do it by themselves, but we need you. Staff can't do it by themselves, but we need you. People in the civic technology community can't do it by ourselves, but we need us. And especially we need elected officials who care. Thank God we have some of those who will be joining us this week. Um, now how do we get there? Well, we get there with things like this. And what does this mean? So let me give you a quick overview before I turn it over to uh, Google's VP of Public Policy, Susan Molinari, to introduce Senator Ron Wyden. 
Um, we're doing this now, uh, an orientation session. And after we do opening remarks, we're going to split off into our challenge areas. There are five of them. Improving the lawmaking process, facilitating cross-partisan dialogue, modernizing congressional participation, closing the representation and trust gaps, and reforming campaign finance. So right when we break here, we'll go outside. There are two areas next door. There will be two in here and one outside. So you can start shopping for the projects you want to work on. Now, I know some people in here already have a good idea of what they want uh, to work on. But that will be a good opportunity to meet everybody, rotate, and see what you want to work on over the next two days. Now, we'll be doing a lot of hacking, building, and designing. And then tomorrow, pitching and judging, right on this stage. So you'll get up here and pretend like you're on Shark Tank and pitch your idea to our August panel of judges. Uh, the criteria are really important to keep in mind. What are they going to be grading your projects, your solutions to congressional problems by? Feasibility. Is this a feasible project and a feasible solution? Openness and replication. Can somebody take your work and build off of it or take it to another legislature? Accessibility. How accessible is this to the broadest number of pe people? And necessity impact. Is your idea solving your problem going to change the game? It's pretty simple, as Ted said. Get together, pick a problem, pick a team, work together, create a solution. It's not that hard. But together, all of us can make progress over the next two days at Hack for Congress to deliver a better legislature. And I hope that this lives on far beyond these two days when you go home. So with that.